The budget was passed by the Senate, uh, again, um, provides uh, tax cuts for the very wealthy as opposed to uh, making uh, investments in what matters in Ohio and, that, and what matters in Ohio is people in Ohio. So adequate funding for mental health and, and addiction services uh, is not there. Uh, there's a lack of opportunity uh, for our communities. Our local governments are still struggling uh, uh, with regard to delivering police and fire services, senior services, youth services. Uh, this, this budget, again, has turned the backs on, on local governments and requiring local governments to go to their citizens to raise taxes uh, on them as opposed to having the state uh, provide uh, the assistance to local governments. Uh, uh, we also have not uh, uh, accomplished what we needed to do in education. Uh, uh, we have not addressed the real pitfalls in the funding formula and providing adequate revenues uh, to our schools. What we are doing is providing uh, significant more revenues to uh, uh, for-profit charter schools um, without uh, uh, providing any regulation and accountability to those charter schools. Uh, what about some of the last-minute changes that were added as it relates to uh, the, the health uh, independent health care workers' ability to unionize the, the we, changes to the transfer we, agreements. So we we, be, uh, we believe that uh, the amendment on the health care workers is just a ploy. Uh, what they did do is is uh, uh, prohibit uh, any of the uh, employees to seek an executive order in the future for unionization. We believe that. Uh, um, uh, it was just a ploy, and we don't. Uh, I don't foresee that staying in the budget. We would like to see uh, the uh, collective bargaining stay in the budget for the health care workers, but uh, and I, I challenge them to keep that in, in the budget.